I see. What I tell you, no stage or mail today or any other day. Well, well now the we... Sierra's doing the best it can. We've been cut off from mail and supplies for six weeks now. Let's tear down the place. Yeah. Now, Walker, yeah. just a minute. Hold it, there. Hold Gentlemen, please. Hold it. Hold it. Now, just a minute. Now, look, when you asked me to head up this committee, you said we'd work out some kind of peaceful plan to get the stage back on schedule. We'll begin to act like a mob. Then we businessmen are fighting for our lives. The Sierra's pushing us to the wall. Oh, we're beginning to feel the same pinch of lack of mail and supplies out in the Ponderosa, too. That doesn't mean we have to lose our heads or become violent about it. Well, you ranchers don't have to pay $30 a sack for flour no, no, or 50 a cents we a pound for potatoes. Exactly what anybody else pays right here in Virginia City. Now, let's all just settle down and let's talk to Sims about it. Oh, well, I wrote a letter to the head office. They're sending out a troubleshooter. Good. And by the time he gets here, we'll all be broke. Yeah, the Sierra is responsible for the high prices well, around here, just, making just things minute. scarce and hard to get. Say, and Sims easy. is the Sierra in this town. Say, I say, say let's run away. Just a minute. Just a minute. Trask. Jen Trask. <laughs> Go ahead. Tear up the Sierra and run me out of town now. Go ahead, Mr. Walker. Sims, you get these citizens off Sierra property. Yes, sir. Hold on, Sims. Now, what gives you the authority to come in here and threaten us with a gun? Mister, there are 26 men who've questioned my authority. Now, they're all dead. I thought it wasn't enough for you. How about that? to get the Sierra running on schedule again. Latigo, Mr. Trask, that town's poison. Yeah, I got the antidote right here. Well, I understand that every no-good gunman in the West is holed up in Latigo. Yeah, that's right. They're using it as a base to burn and plunder our stages and our freight wagons. Well, one man and one gun won't stand much of a chance against a whole town of killers. That's my job. I'm paid to do it. Of course, if there are any volunteers to help me clean out Latigo. Well, well, now, you can't count on them fellas out there. They've all got their businesses to take care of. Well, what businesses? If the Sierra ever stops running through here, this will be a ghost town. <laughs> oh, it never fails. You scratch a citizen with talk of volunteering his gun, and he runs like a whip dog. Ain't that the truth, honey? Sure is, Jed. Mr. Trask. I agreed to head up this committee and not backing down from it. Yeah, well, you might want to reconsider. If anything happens to you, the Sierra won't pay for as much as a pine box. You know, the Sierra is far more important to us than it is to itself. As far as your company is concerned, it's only so much profits. As far as we're concerned, the Sierra is our lifeline to the outside world. All right. You ready to leave at sunup? Honey, looks like we bought ourselves another gun. Oh, you're wrong. You bought yourself four more guns. My sons will go along. The quicker this is settled, the better we'll all like it. Good. I want one thing understood. My first concern is the Sierra. When we get to Latigo, you'll all take orders from me. That's agreeable, Trask. As long as you remember that we're not hired gunmen. Look, let's get things straight. I'm tired of people thinking of me as a hired gun. I bring law and order to the Sierra wherever it needs it. Well, right now, it needs it in Latigo. Well, we're, we're all for law and order, Trask. Just want you to know that we 
We don't intend to shoot first and ask questions later. And I don't intend to wind up on Boot Hill with a bullet in my back. This is the only kind of law those kind of men will understand. Well, I'd go doesn't sound like any picnic ground. Maybe you ought to send Mrs. Trask back to Virginia City. Bill? Adam Cartwright's worried about you. He thinks maybe I ought to send you back. You're my man, Jed. When you tell me to go back, I'll go. Like this, the undertaker's a leading citizen. I'll have him heat some water for your bath, Jed. I'll be about an hour. You can still back out if you want to. We have no intention of backing out. Why don't you suit yourself? I'll be over at the Sierra. It's right across the street. A peaceful place. Yeah. Let's get the horses down to Livery Step. Plenty of cash in this and Big Mike. Uh, look, look, look at them greenbacks. Get trashed. Who sent for you? Mike Campbell, you're through. Get out. Tenders meat I ever at. Here, try some. Melt in your mouth. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said you're through. Trask, you're invading the private office of the duly appointed division superintendent of the Sierra. Mike, you've got one hour to get out of town. Well, if I'm going to leave town, I might as well travel on a full stomach. Mike, you forgot something. All right, you too. Come on. Me? Well, see, I, I was only... One doing hour. My... Uh, now that we got rid of Big Mike, we can get started straightening up this deep. Look, Chad. You're not going to let them ride off scot-free. They must be prosecuted. Prosecuted with what? There isn't any law in this town. First things first, Ben. I work for the Sierra. Chad, when I came along on when this... When you tri- came along... You promised you'd take orders from me. Look, Ben. Latigo is like a snake. He cut off its head. And the rest of it will die.
for an hour. He only give us an hour. That's time enough for you to go round up Cole Baker and his partner. Meet me in there. Anybody finds out he took over, you got no business in this town. Look, you just do like I say. I'll take care of Jed Trask. This has been allowed to go on a little while longer. Big Mike would have owned Virginia City. Uh, he's never that smart, Ben. Here's some more records to check. Hey, come on out and take a look at the barn. It's full of mail and supplies. Hey, Paul. Take a look at this. This is where all the mail's been. Closest as I ever got to Virginia City. There's enough stuff here to keep the town happy for a couple of months. You know, there must be supplies and mail out here for half the West. Yeah, it'd take us a month of Sunday to straighten all this out. Now, there's a stage coming in the end of the week. We can start moving some of it out then. Hey, yeah, you know, for a young one, you're real smart. Jed? Yeah. Jed, you know, we're going to need half a dozen wagons and teams to load this stuff up. Well, there'll be a courier through here. I'll send the message to the home office. I'll go back to the stage depot right now and write it out. Come supper time, I'll see you all. I'll buy the drinks. All right. I may have misjudged that one. Well, you gotta admit one thing, he sure knows his business. Yeah, that's for sure. Seems like this town's already quieter just since he's been here. Well, this mail isn't going to load itself. Come on, let's get to work. Yeah, yeah, you get to work. You're in my way, boy. You're in my way, mister. Trask. It's an hour you give me is up. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. Dad! He's hardly breathing. He'll be all right. Joe, get the doctor. Right. You wanted to be part of this. Well, now you are. Which one of you was going to kill Mike Campbell? Let's get him upstairs. Bell? Bell? I'm here, Jed. I'm here. Stay trussed up like this, I got a job to do. Now you're not getting out of this bed until the doctor says so. You stop mother handing me. I'm in shape right now to get back on the job. I... Oh! There you see. Jed, quit worrying. The cart rides are down at the station right now. Now they're taking care of everything. What do the cart rides know about running the stage line? You'd be happy knowing they were staying on. Well, yeah, I'm not in much shape right now to jump for joy. Just the same, I'm glad that you, you asked him to stay on and run the depot. All I have to do now is figure out a way of running down Big Mike. Leave well enough, B. Jed. Big Mike has run like a whip dog. Honey, well enough won't leave me be. I can't let a man put a bullet hole in me and get away with it. Every two-bit gunman in the West would want to try the same thing. Everybody knows he tricked you. 
You've nothing to gain tracking him down like a hired killer. Don't you call me a hired killer. I didn't. I didn't. Honey, I've got a job to do. To do that job right, I've got to put the fear of Jed Trask into everybody and keep it there. Fear Jed or respect? It's the same thing, Bill. My gun got me my job, and my gun is going to keep it. If I let Big Mike stay alive, everybody would say the sand was running out of my craw. Jed, I just can't stand seeing you get hurt again. I thought you understood something. There are only two things in my life. My work and you. And my work is the only way I know to get you the things I want for you. Virginia City? Very much, except the mail and his stuff from his home office. Well, we'll have plenty of letters for you to deliver to Virginia City. Tell Adam and Hoss to start loading. Right. Don't see Big Mike around. No, I guess you won't either. Jed Trask relieved him of his job. My name's Cartwright. My sons and I are helping him out. Jed Trask, huh? Yeah. Heard the company was making some changes here. Didn't figure they'd send out Trask. My eyes are... Good troubleshooters. Trouble with some troubleshooters. There's sometimes bigger trouble than they send out here to cure. Uh -huh. Is that what you think about Trask? I do. And so do a lot of others at the home office. I reckon Trask can want these letters and way bills. And this one's for him personal. Oh, do you want me to deliver it? No, sir. E. This is one pleasure I want for myself. I've waited a long time to deliver this letter. Uh -huh. Skinny's running us. Stage is going to need a man who can read and write better than he can handle a gun or hitch a team of horses. <laughs> all right, there it is. There's a rundown on all of the freight that is due here in the next few weeks. Hey, you know, by the time, by the time we get through our end of things here, everything should be back to normal. Oh, say, so the driver had a letter for you. Did he give it to you? Yeah, it's right here. Might be a paycheck. It's about time, Joe. The Undertakers? The Undertakers? He's also the local carpenter. Chairs, tables, and coffins are his specialty. Well, you can take it back. I don't want it. I don't care what you want. You're going to use it. You'll just get well that much sooner. Don't you agree, Mr. Cartwright? Yes, I think I do agree. All right, all right. What's this letter? You keep your hands away from that. I'm sorry. But being cooped up in this room has made me kind of shaky. Maybe you're right about the chair. At least I can get around a little bit. Well, you know, keeping busy is certainly better medicine than just sitting around in here. And even in a wheelchair, there are plenty of things to, for you to take care of down at the depot. There's something I'm a lot more anxious to take care of than the depot. That's Mike Campbell. Now, look, Trask, you're, you're in no condition to go riding after Mike Campbell. I'm not going to ride after Big Mike. I'm going to sit in that chair in front of this hotel. And sooner or later, Big Mike is going to get brave enough to come looking for me. And when he 
does. This will be the last thing he'll ever see. Oh, Trask, you're taking an awful chance. And, well, in that wheelchair, you're, you're a sitting duck. I've been taking chances for the Sierra for ten years. Maybe it's become a habit. Yeah, honey. I'm real glad you thought about that chair. Ben, while you're here, you want to give me a hand into the chair? All right. All right, all right, all right. I'll help you. I'm still around. Are you sure this is what you want? I know what I'm doing, Cartwright. Well, I hope so. I'll be across the way at the depot. I'm going to see that the stage gets up to Virginia City. Oh, I know this food ain't got hops in touch, but it'll at least keep you from starving to death. What are you doing? I was making a bid for a second helping. What's bothering you, Pop? Oh, nothing, really. Trask? Mm. He's a pretty hard man to figure, isn't he? I don't trust him. Me neither. A strange job. I picked a strange man to handle it. There's certainly no denying his loyalty to the Sierra. Loyalty? Seems he's dedicated his whole life to it. Well, that's a point in his favor, wouldn't you say? Maybe. What do you mean? Well, he's he's more than just loyal. He's become almost fanatic about it. And I've learned it's pretty hard to trust a fanatic. No matter how good his intentions are. Why don't you let me help you into bed? I'll stay up and think for a while. Well, that letter must be mighty important for you to lose sleep over it. The letter is company business. You don't have to worry about it. What's in it? I told you it's company business. No, it's more than that. Look, don't try Look, to... you jumped at me the first time I asked you about it. Now you're jumping at me again. I know when something's troubling you. I've been fired, Bill. Be true. Candid. There's always been somebody in Sierra management after my hide, somebody who didn't like my methods. Ten years of my life I spent building that stage line. Ten years. Now fired. Just kicked out like that. Only a job, honey. There are plenty of jobs for a man like you. Jed Trask doesn't go around begging for jobs, and he's no saddle tramp or fool kid to get kicked around either. Jed, we've got to face things as they come. Oh, honey, we've been through worse things than this together. That time that Mustang's hoof opened up your scalp. Bloody massacre in the Apache country. Right, don't tell me. Tell them. Tell the Sierra. It was my blood and sweat that marked that stage line all up and down the country. Mine. They supplied the equipment and the money, and I supplied the guts. Wherever that line started to fall apart, who held it together? Me, Jed Trask. 
Jed, the Sierra is only a pinpoint in this world. We can go someplace where you'd really... Run out? Are you telling me to run out? After I get rid of Big Mike, I'm going to make this our town, Bill. I'm going to bust the Sierra so wide open there won't be a trace of their mark left on this territory. Darling, sit down. You'll hurt yourself. No, I don't need that chair. I've been hit worse than this a dozen times. Chad, will you sit down? You're in no shape to be walking around. Yeah, that's right. Sure, everybody in town has seen me in that chair. No, I can't walk. I don't know what you're thinking, Jed, but I am not going to stand here and watch you get into trouble. Yeah. Yeah, everybody in town knows I'm tied to this chair. Oh, 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 boy. That's funny. That's real funny. I didn't want this chair to begin with, but now that I got it, I'm going to make it work for me. You can't do this. What about the Cartwrights? What about them? I don't owe them anything. They came along because Virginia City was in trouble, not because of me. Chad, they came here as part of a committee to see that the stage gets through. Look, you're not going to fool them for long. They're bound to find out. Do you think they're just going to stand here and, and watch you ruin the Sierra all over again? Well, that's up to them, honey. They just better not get in my way. See, I don't care for anybody behind my back. Now sit down. Now, I want Big Mike. Where is he? He left town. You ought to know that. Thorne, you help me find him. I'll make it worth your while. Big Mike set us up. Covered for us. Now you expect us to turn on him? You'd turn on your own mother if there was enough money in it for you. You tie up with me and there will be enough. What do you take us for, Trask? Babes in the woods? You don't work for Sierra anymore. The driver told us. We didn't tell anybody else. I already made sure of that. So? What are you trying to prove, Trask? And I can set you boys up better than Big Mike ever did. What's in it for you? Money for one thing. Satisfaction for another. I spent ten years building up that stage line, Thorne. I know their schedules. I know every shipment that comes through here. I can show you boys how to make more money than you ever dreamed of. You were always known as a pretty loyal company man. How do we know you're not setting us up for a double cross? I'm not taking you or anybody else as easy as this in the past few days. I, I, I wait. Yeah, have it, have it. You want to drink with it? Drinking together? Right, now will you help me find Big Mike? Yeah, I'll find him. 
What about those four men you brought from Virginia City? The card rides? I can handle them as easy as this. You want me to handle this, Trask? Oh, no. This is a pleasure I've been saving for myself. Stay here, boys. Should have shot a lot straighter, Mike. Now, just a minute, Trask. Thorn. Weasel! Stop him! We can get back to more important things. Sierra. Blasted wheelchair. You just stay there until you're ready to get out. Such a good morning. Another freighter overdue? Oh, yeah. Well, Big Mike is sure working overtime, huh? Well, somebody is sure working overtime. Well, it's got to be Mike. He's the only one who has the know-how to pull off those raids. Then he has second sight. Every wagon that was hit had valuable cargo aboard. It was almost as if they were receiving the shipment reports and schedules quicker than we did. I sure wish I was back on my feet, Ben. I'd like to give you a hand. Well, I know you do, Jada. We could sure use another hand. This is still my responsibility, Ben. I won't shirk it. Jada, I know how you feel. Look, couldn't we round up the few honest citizens left here and get all those gunmen and run them out of town? <laughs> honest citizens. Ben, these gunmen are their best customers. They'd rather run you out of town. You or me. Well, there must be a few honest citizens left with a little bit of pride in Latigo. Then you're not going to find one citizen who's willing to risk his life in order to clean the scum out of this town. Whoa. Hey, everybody! Look what I got! It's Big Mike! Look what I ran across in Rainbow Canyon. It's Big Mike, all right, Paul. That's right, Ben. I can walk fine. And this is my town now. It figures.
I tell you, that man is an out-and-out fanatic. He'd fight just as hard to smash the Sierra as he, as he would to build it up. Well, I'll guarantee you I wasn't about to try to stop him out there. He had, had too many guns with him. Yeah. I don't know how many men he has backing him, but he's got enough. Well, most of the people in this town seem scared to death. You think we can count on any of them? I don't know, but we'll have to. Without that stage, Virginia City is no better than the ghost town. The Ponderosa is no better off. Well, how do you think we ought to go about it, Bob? Well, we talk to everybody in town, see who we can count on. Well, there still isn't going to be many. Well, let's hope it's enough. Come on. There are a few honest citizens left in Latigo. And they've decided it's time for you and your boys to leave. Oh, now, Ben, there's no call for you and me to have any trouble. Fact is, I was just on my way to see you. I wanted to offer you and your boys a deal. No trouble. And no deals. Just leave. citizens standing behind you, I guess I'd be kind of foolish to make this a showdown, wouldn't I, Ben? Whose side are you going to be on when I come back? If they come back, we'll be ready for them. Now, we'll get the supplies of mail ready for Virginia City. Until the Sierra sends out another man, my sons and I will ride shotgun in the wagons. Uh, Corklin, I'd appreciate it very much if you'd run the depot and... Well, Mr. Cartwright, do you think we're going about this in the right way? Mr. Corklin, if you like living in a, in a state of fear... We're going at it all wrong. But if you have any regard for yourself or your family, we have no choice. Take one of the men. Find some wagons. We're going to need them if we're going to load the supplies. All right. Hey, Corkley, give me a hand. No trouble at all. I sneaked right up to the barn. Everybody was so busy worrying about you coming back. They never did see me. What about the car line? Well, the way I figure, they mean business. Looks like they kind of took charge. You know, uh, take things over. All right. And we'll give them some business. We'll wait until dusk. We'll circle back into town. They ought to still be in that barn working. We'll burn them out. When they come running, it ought to be like a turkey shoot for us. Jed! That's murder you're planning. You hold your tongue. All right, maybe you got a reason to fight the Sierra. But that's no reason to shoot down the Cartwrights in cold blood. I told you, you just shut up! (laughs) 
No, that's 20, Pop. Good. There'll be a six-man guard on the next wagon that draws out of here. Oh, say, I want you to pass the word around. Every man will be on duty from now on. 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Now, starting tonight... Turn around. You Cartwright's outside. I'm escorting you out a lot ago. So Trask is sending a woman to do his work, huh? I'm trying to save your lives. Ben. Ben, please don't make me shoot. Now, Bella. Don't... Don't use that rifle, Ben. Now, put it down. all about. Jeff, he's coming out after dark to burn you up. Ben, you got to try to understand. The Sierra was his life. When they fired him, it was as if, as if they tore out his heart. <laughs> well, thank you, Belle, for coming to warn us. It must have been a difficult thing for you to do. He never killed in cold blood. Only defending himself or, or the Sierra. <laughs> Take her to the hotel, Paul. Yeah. Come on, Bill. <laughs> Guess we better get ready for Trask. them are hit. Somebody help them. Rask, you and the others, come on out with your hands high or we'll burn you out. Rask, I'm going to count to ten. One. Two. Only eight to go. I'm getting out of here. Shut up! Three! Four! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm coming out! Five! Six! I don't understand! Fight it! Come, get over there! Get hold of her. Dad! Oh. You kill him! You kill him! He's alive. He's inside the barn. But not for long. Time's up. Let's burn him out. Look, I never had any intention of burning anybody out. You're not figuring on taking him alone. I'd like to talk to him. We're going in with you. Look, if we all go in, he'll start shooting. Somebody will get hurt. I think I can reason with him. Trask, I'd like to come in and talk to you. Well, come ahead, Ben. What's your proposition? I'm willing to listen. Get 
careful, Pa. Talk to you. Sims, where'd you learn to spell? Huh? There's no A in freighters. <laughs> See here, Sims. I'm not about to pay these freight bills. Uh, what kind of bone you got to pick now? Uh, the Sierra's robbing us blind. These rates are sky high. I won't pay them. Well, don't blame me, Mr. Walker. I don't make the rates. They're standard for everybody. Now go on inside and I'll show you. Well, trash. Yeah, I sure like to see those potatoes. Yeah, they must be going way down in price to be using them for targets. Oh, I've had enough shooting to last me a lifetime, particularly with somebody by the name of Trask at the butt end of a gun. However, since she is a friend of ours, uh, why don't we stop off at the Comstock, have dinner, and see the show? Hey, good idea. 